Hey everyone and welcome to episode 7 of my creation kit tutorial series. This week we're going to look into uh, creating interior settlements. Okay, so first things first, we're going to have to create a save. So we've loaded up the main ESM and we're going to hit save and give it a custom name. So we're going to call this uh, creation kit tutorial. I can't really see the keyboard. Uh, a seven. Seven A. Okay. So now I've got a custom name. What we're going to need to first things first is go down and create a location. So just click on the creation tab and make sure there's nothing in the uh, filter and click new. And the ID needs to be something you can remember. So I'm going to call this create kit tut seven lock. The uh, name really doesn't matter. It's just if you're putting the door into it, it's going to this is going to be what it's going to say. So it's going to be enter door to this name. So I'm going to call it uh, tutorial. Okay. Keywords. This is important. I'm going to hit add, and we're going to put the keyword, not these ones. Lock type clearable. And then we're going to add the other one, lock type interior cell. Then we're going to hit OK. We're going to go up and we're going to find a uh, suitable style to copy. So I'm going to use the uh, home plate or the Diamond City Player House because that cell is more or less set up anyway. Uh, I'd advise you to do the same if you're just doing a simple interior settlement mod. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate that cell. I'm going to slow click that and then I'm going to change the name to Okay, so now that's got a custom name, I'm going to double click it. Click edit. And the uh, location, I'm going to change it to the one we just made. So, creation to tut seven lock. Uh, default acoustic space, I'm going to change to none. And the lighting tab, I'm going to take the fog away by taking the far out. If it has a near or any of these, just zero them out. And then just hit apply. And. Uh, Hit none on this. Apply again. And we're ready to rock. Okay, obviously I don't want any of this kick in my cell, so I'm just going to go plop, delete. It's going to say, do you want to delete all this? But it's not actually in reference to anything because we've deleted everything that it had reference to because it's a duplicate cell. So Next things, ne or next things, uh, we're gonna have to create a uh, a uh, actual house or whatever it is you're creating in the cell. Okay, so hit A to get the light on. Now for this first piece, I'm gonna edit the base. I'm gonna give it a custom ID. I'm gonna call it just the same name, but uh, workshop. So, I'm just gonna put that in there, and then in down here in the uh, values, I'm gonna hit new, and then we're gonna put in workshop. There's no spaces, stackable item. Double click that. I'm gonna set that to one. And then we're going to need to uh, add second one. Workshop item overlap with a value of 8. Then we're going to click OK. And to make things easier for the next ones, we're going to hit copy in that after we've selected both of them with control selected. So we're going to hit OK. Now, if you place anything in this from the uh, workshop, it'll uh, 
not fall through the floor. Okay. Okay, so we're going to edit the base again. Now that we've got this in the uh, copy pan, we're going to just hit paste and hit OK, create the new form. Yep, that piece is ready to go. And let's see. Red. There we go. That's not too low. Don't click that. Add a PS. Workshop. Paste those two uh, things in there. And then we're going to write it. We're going to write it. So I'm just going to continue dumping these three pieces. I need. So I'll uh, get right back to the video in a second. Okay, so we've got our little uh, cell created. Okay, next thing we're going to need to is get into the filter tab here, and we're going to type in workshop resource container. First of all, we need to select all, select all so it actually comes up. Okay, double click any of these. As you can see, they're just a little green box. Don't necessarily need to create a new one, but I'm gonna do it just to uh, just to to have it. So I'm gonna call it uh, Krish Kit Tut Seven. Don't need to change the name. Gonna delete all that kick out of it, and we're gonna hit OK to create the new form, and we're going to drag that into our cell. You can have this anywhere, but I think it's best just to keep it uh, out. Okay, so next what we're going to need to do is get workshop, work, bench, interior. Obviously these are, uh, these all have different uh, different things the interior one's set up for uh, like the likes of home plate so there's depending on what one you have in here is gonna you know tell you which which stuff you have available in the workshop like structures and stuff won't be available in this uh, specific workshop okay so we're gonna double click that and we're gonna go to scripts and we're going to double click that now we need to find flag or flags owned by player we're going to set that to positive uh, we're going to enable automatic uh, ownership to false so we'll just double click that and then click off it next we're going to do minimum recruit allow random after player owned so we'll just Hover over that. That's not the right one. Double click that. So it, uh, and then click off it so it goes false. So that's uh, that done. And allow attacks before uh, owned. Was that false? Okay, so now it should look like this. Under these flags, they should be. True, false, false, false. Then we're gonna hit OK. We're gonna hit linked reference. Okay, need to have the uh, chest in sight when we're doing that. I hate when it does this. How annoying. That's such a bad setup. Okay, so. Like reference, gonna double click that, select our little chest, and the keyword for that's gonna be workshop link container. So we're gonna type in 
workshop link container hit enter and there's keyword it's uh, linked to the right thing we're gonna hit OK and it's gonna draw a little line okay so we can see a little green line there so that's uh, that's done correctly Okay, next we're gonna to need to get is a default empty trigger. Okay, and then we're gonna double click that. We're gonna to go to primitive bounds and we're gonna try and match that to the uh, size of the cell. So see what that's like. Seems to have uh, disappeared. So we're just going to try that again. Okay, so that's not a very clean one, like, but ideally you'd want that to be uh, just about the right size as the uh, cell, but that'll do for this. Okay, so I double click that. I'm going to go to link reference again. Uh, double click that little box, select reference, get our little workshop, and we're going to do workshop link primitive. Okay, then we're going to hit OK. Hit OK again, and let's draw a little nice white line. And then we're going to double click this bad boy. I'm going to click in here again. I'm going to select the render window. Uh, hopefully, that's going to get. Uh, nope, that's not it. There we go. We've got the nice uh, default empty trigger. And the uh, keyword for that's going to be workshop link sandbox. Okay. Now, theoretically, this should be done, but we've got no power. So, to add power in, what I'd uh, suggest is getting a little thing called workshop power. Okay, as you can see, we've got a little uh, blue thing here, a little blue deal. So let's place that anywhere anywhere we want. We can actually move this once we're uh, in game anyway. With the we can't delete it, but we can move it. That that needs to be linked as well. We're going to do a keyword for that. I'm going to select the workshop. The keyword's going to be workshop item keyword. Click OK. Click OK. We've got a nice little uh, line for that too. Okay, now we're going to need to do a quick door so I can show you what this show you that it works in game. Just yep, that looks like a nice container. Gonna enable uh, God mode quickly because obviously I don't have any supplies. You can just bring supplies in; doesn't really matter. So, as you can see, you can place this about the place. Uh, there is no uh, 
maximum build thing, so you don't have to worry about that. Put shelves in the walls. No problem. And finally, our uh, lights. And we'll add the conduit to, uh, I'll add this in here for the crack. Just need to, not conduit. No, it's called conduit, that's uh, strange. Ta-da! And this is uh, switchable. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial. If you uh, liked it, please leave a like. If you uh, like my content, please subscribe and uh, hope to see you in upcoming videos. Thanks very much and uh, have fun modding.